Night and Sleep by Evelyn de Morgan, painted in 1878, is one of her most beautiful paintings. That's not just my opinion, that's exactly what she wanted us to believe, and that's why she painted it in the aesthetic style. The aesthetic movement had emerged in this country in the late 1860s and early 1870s. Fueled by Oscar Wilde, it was one that insisted art should be for art's sake, that it should be there simply to be beautiful and to be enjoyed. And this is the painting by Evelyn de Morgan that best fits into that category. You can see the figure of night hung the cloak of darkness down over both figures as the figure of sleep drops some hypnotic poppies over the sleeping earth below. The landscape is dreamlike, it could be anywhere in the world, and the figures float above it in this dusky twilight. The painting was reviewed by Oscar Wilde when he saw the Broken Gallery exhibition and he thought it was one of the highest forms of artwork that he saw at the time. It's a picture which de Morgan kept for her whole life, despite being shown in the avant-garde Broken Gallery which sold paintings such as this one. She never did sell it and it stayed with her at home here in Chelsea until her death in 1919. It's an absolutely stunning picture, but the colours, the movement, the draperies are all absolutely spot on and accurate. And it was an amazing achievement for a young female artist of just 22 years old to be able to paint and be invited to exhibit this in such a reputable art gallery. The painting is so accurate and so meticulous due to de Morgan's training at the National Art Training School in South Kensington and then later at the Slade School of Art. The Slade believed that all good art came from the, from the skill of drawing, and de Morgan was an artist who really prescribed to this, um, creating meticulous drawings over and over again of every tiny aspect and detail of a painting, before she would commit her ideas to canvas, ensuring that everything is beautifully balanced in the final composition.